That's Wayne Bailey, and he's got real problems. The throttle is stuck on the burnout. The engine's still running. He's got the parachute out. Look at him battling the car. He'll run down to the end of the racetrack. There is a runoff area out there, but the engine's still going. Bailey trying to spin the car out in the dirt and has accomplished it. He planted it in the sand trap, and look at that like a sand dragster. It's just throwing a huge plume of dirt up out of the pit where Wayne Bailey is now trying to exit the car. The engine will not shut off. Obviously, his fuel shut off lever not doing him any good. The safety safari right on the scene. They're squirting water whatever into the injector hat trying to get the engine to shut itself off. And it is finally dead. Wayne Bailey has had one of the wildest rides you have ever seen. I knew there was problems the moment he did the burnout. You heard him lift and then get back in it. And I don't know that it was him that got back in it. Something happened to throw that throttle open. You see Bailey being attended to by the EMTs, the emergency medical staff that travels with the NHRA safety safari. And blonde-headed Wayne Bailey's got a smile on his face. He did everything right. That is one of the more incredible sights you will ever see. And certainly one of the most feared happenings for any driver in any category, and that is the throttle hang open. Now look, it is a fairly conventional burnout. Here in the replay, you're seeing it again. Right there is where you knew the throttle was stuck, because he's gone like a rocket from another angle. Way down track. Here comes Bailey. The throttle's hung open. He realizes that he puts the parachute out. But it won't stop running. He drifts over into the other lane. Fortunately, there was nobody there on that burnout. He gets it into the dirt. He'll disappear into a cloud of dust. And then you will see Wayne Bailey spin it out and put it in the pit. Just like a sand dragster, a huge rooster tail of sand coming off of it. But that's why that area is there, to catch errant race cars. Normally, it would happen when something goes wrong on a full run. Rarely does it occur during a burnout. But there's never a moment of not much excitement at the U.S. Nationals. This is one of the more astonishing things I have ever had the chance to see. And you have witnessed it live right here on NHRA Today on TNN. Well, it's going to take a little time to get Wayne Bailey out of that hole that he dug. And as such, we're going to take a break. I don't know whether we can stand much more of that. We're coming back to IRP and the U.S. Nationals. Back to Indianapolis Raceway Park and the U.S. Nationals here live on TNN on NHRA Today. And you are looking at a rather concerned group, not because anybody's injured, not because there's a lot of serious damage to the race car. Well, maybe the motors hurt pretty good running away as it did. But for Wayne Bailey and the Duggan's Irish pub entry, they got to dig it out of the sand pit where Wayne backed it in after his throttle hung open on the burnout. Take a look again. He has already realized he's in deep trouble at this point. He's reaching in, trying to pull the fuel shutoff levers. There are no ignition switches on a top fuel dragster. You see his hands going back and forth across the cockpit. He's doing everything he can, not only to get the car stopped with the brakes and the parachute, but to get that infernal engine to stop running because it's just pulling him right down the racetrack. He hits the dirt knowing that he doesn't want to go into those trees ahead of him. What's the only thing you can do? And these are not sports cars. He cranks it around, spins it out, and then rolling backwards with the engine still running boom, right in to the sand trap. The front wheels are off the ground. He's not going anywhere at this point, and he probably is breathing one of the largest sighs of relief that one could imagine after a ride like that. Look at that. The safety safari has already gotten the car out of the trap. Obviously, there was no time on the run because though you did not see it in that replay, it occurred during the burnout. Wayne had hit the throttle, got the tires smoking really good, but then the throttle hung open, and then when we picked it up in that replay version, you saw what he did to get the car safely stopped. There was no injury at all to Wayne Bailey, and for Bailey, that is definitely 
a sigh of relief because those are the kind of moments that every driver fears. A runaway race car, you can't get the engine to stop. There's really nothing you can do except hang on and do what you can to get the car to stop. As they tow the car back out of the grass, Wayne Bailey, if he can get it repaired and everything is A-OK, -okay, he will have the opportunity to come back later this afternoon in his final qualifying effort to be a part of the U.S. Nationals. Castrol presents the GTX Pipeline, the latest news from the world of drag racing. The ongoing battle over preserving Bonneville definitely isn't being taken with a grain of salt anymore. This past week, Save the Salt Incorporated, the nonprofit citizens group organized to protect the salt flats, announced that it will sue Riley Industries and the Department of Interior's Bureau of Land Management over damage to the salt flats caused by Riley's adjacent mining operations. The suit alleges that Riley and the Bureau have violated the terms of federal mining leases held by Riley and that continued operations also violate a host of other policies, including the National Historic Preservation Act. Bonneville has historical significance as the site of the World Land Speed Record, and it is alleged that recent failed attempts to break the record are due to deteriorating salt conditions. 1995 studies by the U.S. Geological Service document the material loss from the salt flats at 1.5 million tons per year.